Have you ever wondered why, in a world created by a loving God, we encounter so much pain? Could it be possible that our suffering has a higher purpose, a divine plan we might not yet comprehend? For ages, the agonizing enigma of pain and suffering has cast a shadow over the human experience. From the echoing halls of philosophy to the silent reflections of the common man, from the sacred scrolls of theologians to the tear-filled eyes of the grieving, the quest to decipher the essence of suffering remains relentless. Today, as we stand at the crossroads of doubt and belief, we will delve deep into the realms of understanding. We will unearth the layers that conceal the profound significance of our struggles, seeking the silver linings that God has intricately woven into the tapestry of our lives. This journey will not be one of mere contemplation, but an exploration of faith, a dive into the infinite well of God's eternal truth, and an invitation to see the splendor in the design of life's most challenging moments. Join us as we navigate these uncharted waters with the hope that clarity will emerge from the depths of confusion, illuminating our path forward. The very essence of our existence on this earth is not without challenges. It's a truth that seems almost cruel in its simplicity, but it is in understanding this truth that we can begin to find purpose. Every experience of pain and hardship, every tear that streaks our face, is not just a symbol of sorrow, it's a testament to our resilience and capacity for growth. Picture for a moment the process of refining gold. Raw gold is impure and mixed with various minerals. It's only when subjected to immense heat that these impurities are burned away, revealing the pure, valuable gold underneath. In many ways, our lives mirror this process. The furnace of life's challenges, as scorching as they might seem, acts to refine us, purify our spirits, and draw out the innate brilliance that lies within. Take, for example, the biblical story of Joseph, a beloved son, cast into the depths of betrayal by his own brothers, sold into slavery, faced with the harshness of life in confinement, betrayed yet again by those he trusted, and thrown into a dungeon. It would have been easy for him to surrender to the weight of despair. But Joseph persisted, holding steadfastly to his faith. And in these trying moments, the foundations of a great destiny were laid. It was through these trials that Joseph cultivated wisdom, patience, and a profound understanding of human nature. It sharpened his intellect, honed his leadership abilities, and deepened his relationship with God. All of these attributes were crucial for the role he was destined to play, that of a savior during Egypt's worst famine, a role that not only elevated him to a position of great authority, but also, in a divine twist of events, brought about the reunion and redemption of his family. In Joseph's life, pain wasn't a mere mishap or misfortune. It was a conduit of God's grand design, molding him into the man he needed to be. It's a testament to the transformative power of challenges when viewed through the lens of faith and purpose. Just as with Joseph, our pain, too, has the potential to be a precursor to our destiny, pushing us closer to our divine purpose on earth. There's an inherent beauty in the belief that our sufferings are not aimless. Instead, they are divinely ordained chapters in our life each with its own lesson, each with its own purpose. It is essential to realize that it's not the pain itself that holds the lesson, but our response to it. Our resilience in the face of adversity can act as a beacon of hope to others, showing them that it is possible to rise from the ashes and flourish anew. In the grand tapestry of our lives, the dark threads of sorrow and hardship are interwoven with the golden threads of joy and triumph. Without one, the other loses its significance. It's the juxtaposition of these contrasting threads that lends richness and depth to our life's narrative. Returning to the story of Joseph, 
His reconciliation with his brothers wasn't merely a happy ending. It was a manifestation of divine grace. Through all his trials, Joseph's faith didn't waver. And it was this unwavering faith that allowed him to recognize God's hand in his journey. When he finally stood before his brothers, he wasn't driven by vengeance, but by understanding and forgiveness. He recognized that while his brothers intended harm, God used that very harm for a greater good. You meant evil against me, Joseph declared, but God meant it for good. This profound realization is a cornerstone of understanding our own pain. Even when the world seems to conspire against us, there is a divine orchestration at play, shaping events, influencing outcomes, and steering us towards our greater purpose. In our moments of despair, when the weight of our suffering seems unbearable, it's crucial to remind ourselves that God is the ultimate craftsman. He's shaping us, chiseling away our imperfections, refining our spirits, and preparing us for a destiny we can't even begin to fathom. Our challenge is not to avoid pain, because in the mortal realm, pain is inevitable. Our challenge is to embrace it, to seek the lessons hidden within, and to emerge from it stronger, wiser, and more attuned to our divine purpose. It's a journey from pain to purpose, and it's a journey that, with faith as our compass, can lead us to unimaginable heights. As we reflect on the purpose behind our pain, it's crucial to understand that our challenges don't merely exist to give our life meaning and depth. They also serve as the tools with which God molds our character and fortifies our spirit. It's through these challenges that we develop a resilience that's not just about enduring, but evolving. So let's delve deeper into how suffering and trials, under God's guidance, work to build our resilience. Resilience is not merely the ability to bounce back from setbacks. It's the capacity to adapt in the face of challenging circumstances, whilst maintaining a positive outlook. It's the fortitude that allows us to press on, even when every ounce of our being feels like giving in. When we think about resilience, it's not about avoiding hardship, but rather emerging from it, more empowered and more robust than before. The essence of resilience can be visualized as a tree, standing firm amidst a raging storm. The winds beat against it, trying to uproot it, but it remains steadfast. Why? Because over the years, every gust of wind, every droplet of rain, and every ray of scorching sun has contributed to its strength. Its roots have delved deeper, its trunk has grown sturdier, and its leaves have learned to dance with the wind rather than resist it. In the same way, every trial we face, every tear we shed, and every heartbreak we endure contributes to our spiritual and emotional growth. These experiences force us to dig deep within, to tap into reserves of strength we never knew we had. They compel us to lean on God, to rely on His wisdom, and to anchor ourselves in His promises. James, in his epistle, isn't asking us to be joyful about the pain itself, but to find joy in the transformative power that trials can offer. When he speaks of the testing of your faith, it is not a test to trip us up, but to build us up. It's a refining process intended to purify and fortify our faith. We might wonder, why would an all-loving God allow such trials? The answer lies in understanding that it's through these very challenges that our relationship with Him deepens. Just as a muscle grows stronger, through resistance training, our faith muscles grow through the resistance of life's challenges. With each test, we learn to trust God more, understanding that He is molding us, shaping us into the best version of ourselves, ready to serve His grander vision for our lives. While it might be tempting to ask God to shield us from all adversities, it's essential to recognize the deeper work 
being orchestrated within us during these times. The Apostle Paul speaks in Romans 5, 3, 4 about rejoicing in our sufferings because suffering produces endurance. Endurance produces character and character produces hope, a hope that doesn't disappoint because God's love has been poured into our hearts. Now think about the times you faced obstacles. At that moment, they might have felt insurmountable. But looking back, aren't those the very instances that shaped your faith, making it robust and unwavering? It's like a tree with deep roots. The fiercer the storm, the deeper the roots go, holding the tree firm and unwavering. God, in His infinite wisdom, knows that our spiritual growth isn't just about the mountaintop experiences. It's also about the valleys. It's in the valleys that we learn to lean on Him, to trust in His promises, and to let Him lead the way. Every trial we overcome with God by our side fortifies our trust in Him, helping us to rely on His strength, not just our own. Moreover, this cultivated resilience doesn't just benefit us. It stands as a beacon for others, a testament to God's power and grace. When others see how we navigate our storms with faith, it provides them with a tangible example of God's faithfulness, perhaps encouraging them to turn their eyes to Him during their own trials. So, in times of suffering, let's remember that we aren't just being tested, we are being strengthened. We're being prepared for bigger things, for God's greater plans, both for us and for those we might inspire along our journey. From the incredible strength we gain through our trials to the profound sense of purpose we derive from our pain, God's work in our lives becomes undeniably evident. And while resilience builds our spiritual muscles, there's another dimension of God's love that we must explore, His unwavering presence during adversity. Have you ever felt an inexplicable sense of peace during a storm, a force surrounding you when you're at your lowest? Let's delve into how, even in the depths of despair, God's presence envelops us, guiding us through our most challenging moments. The tapestry of our lives is interwoven with threads of various experiences, colors, and textures. Among them, the threads of adversity, though seemingly rough, are the ones that often shine the brightest when we look back. Why? Because it is during these moments of profound distress that we most intimately feel God's embrace. Let's delve deeper into the biblical account of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These three young men were faced with a seemingly impossible situation. Bow down to King Nebuchadnezzar's golden statue, or be thrown into a blazing furnace. Their faith and their refusal to worship any but the true God led them to the mouth of this fiery death. But they stood firm, proclaiming that their God could deliver them. And even if He didn't, they would not bow to another. This was not just a testament to their faith, but also a reflection of their profound understanding of God's character. They recognized that God was not just a deity to be called upon in times of prosperity, but a personal Savior who walks alongside His children, even through the flames of adversity. Now, imagine the astonishment of Nebuchadnezzar when he saw not three, but four figures in the furnace, walking around unscathed. That fourth figure, radiant and divine, was the manifestation of God's promise never to leave nor forsake His people. It showcased that even when we walk through the fiercest fires, God's protective embrace is around us, preserving, guiding, and comforting. Similarly, in our lives, the heat of challenges, heartaches, and disappointments often feels unbearable. But even there, in that overwhelming heat, we're not left to face it alone. The Creator of the universe, with His boundless love and mercy, is right there with us. He doesn't just watch from a distance, but steps into the furnace alongside us. His presence is a reminder 
that we are valued, loved, and never truly alone. Continuing on the theme of God's embrace, it's not just about His presence during adversity, but also the revelations that come with it. In our moments of deep sorrow or confusion, when the walls seem to close in, it is often when we experience profound epiphanies. When we're pushed to our limits, stripped away of our worldly concerns, our connection to God intensifies. We begin to see things not as they appear in the physical realm, but through a spiritual lens where hope and faith shine the brightest. This reminds us of David, the shepherd boy turned king. During his life, he faced numerous trials, from facing the giant Goliath to being pursued by King Saul. Yet even in his darkest moments, hiding in caves, fearing for his life, he found solace in gold. He penned some of the most heart-wrenching psalms during these times. They weren't just cries of despair, but declarations of trust in God's divine plan. Through his pain, David recognized God's omnipresent nature and learned to lean on him more than ever. The embrace of God isn't just about comforting us. It's a transformative experience. It molds us, shapes us, and redirects our path closer to his divine plan. So, when we find ourselves caught in life's raging tempests, let's remember, we are never alone. The creator of the universe is right there, holding us, comforting us, and guiding our every step. And it is through this profound realization that our adversities become stepping stones, leading us closer to him and the destiny he has laid out for us. As we reflect on the tapestry of our lives, marked by threads of joy, pain, love, and loss, it's essential to recognize the divine hand weaving each strand together. The trials we endure aren't random acts of a chaotic universe, but rather purposeful events, orchestrated by a loving creator who sees far beyond our immediate horizon. As we reflect on the tapestry of our lives, marked by threads of joy, pain, love, and loss, it's essential to recognize the divine hand weaving each strand together. The trials we endure aren't random acts of a chaotic universe, but rather purposeful events, orchestrated by a loving creator who sees far beyond our immediate horizon. Our pain, our struggles, our heartbreaks, while real and deeply felt, are but fleeting shadows in the grand tapestry of eternity. With every challenge, God isn't pushing us away. He's drawing us closer, inviting us to lean into His boundless love and mercy. Through every tear shed, every sleepless night, there lies an opportunity, a chance to grow, to learn, and most importantly, to deepen our relationship with Him. Imagine a potter at his wheel, carefully shaping and molding the clay. With every touch, he knows exactly what he's creating, even if the clay doesn't. Similarly, God, our divine potter, shapes our lives using every experience, every moment of suffering, to mold us into the image he envisioned. The process may be painful, and at times, we may question the purpose behind the pain. But let's take solace in knowing that His plans for us are always for good, for growth, and for a future brimming with hope. In moments of doubt, when the weight of the world seems too heavy to bear, let's remember to look beyond our immediate circumstances and gaze upon the bigger picture. Our story is but a chapter in a grand, eternal narrative. And with God as the author, we can be assured of a purposeful and hopeful ending. So, as we journey forward, let's carry the lessons of our past, the hope of our future, and the unwavering belief in God's unconditional love and plan for us. Remember, in the heart of adversity lies an opportunity for a closer walk with Him. As we close this chapter of reflection today, may the seeds of understanding and faith take root in our hearts. If today's message resonated with you, or if you believe it might inspire someone else, please hit that like button. It's a simple act, 
but it helps this message reach more souls in search of answers and comfort. And if you wish to embark on more journeys of faith and introspection with us, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Remember, together, as a community of believers, we can strengthen each other, share wisdom, and walk hand in hand towards God's purpose for each of us. Until next time, remain blessed and guided in His light.